Hi, welcome to the Cafe Bean Counter Knits podcast episode 15. Today is Saturday, June 16th, I think. Um, I'm recording in the evening. Um, today's been a busy day, just trying to get some things done <clears throat> around the house as usual, like most people who work Monday through Friday. Um, so again, my name is Jessica and I live in Phoenix, Arizona with my husband. And today we have a giveaway winner announcement. I have some finished objects, some works in progress, some acquisitions, and some ideas for the new Stephen West make-along. So, let's get started. Oh, before we get started, you can find me on Instagram as Cafe Bean Counter Knits and on, on Ravelry as Cafe Bean Knits. And anything I talk about will be linked in the show notes below. Okay, so I bet you're dying to know who the winner is. So I'm going to put the winner right up here. And the winner is Maureen M. She likes being outside, but it has a dry heat um, in the Las Vegas Valley. So I completely understand that. <laughs> so congratulations, Maureen. Please send me your full name and mailing address um, to either cafebeancounternits at gmail.com or you can message me on Instagram. Um, I will I will note that I am going on vacation starting June 23rd and will be back home until June 30th. So if you would um, either get in contact with me before then or if you don't mind waiting until I get back, I'll be back on June 30th. I was trying to record this episode just a little bit earlier so that way I could get it up and make sure that the winner could contact me before I leave. So hopefully Maureen watches this after it's posted. I'm hoping I can try to get it up tonight. That's my plan. So, finished objects. Oh, excuse my reach. So here's the first finished object. And I have, I have two, of course. It's a finished object. So, this is the One More Step sock by Earth Tones Girl, and I'm using the Breaking Yarns Crystal Meth colorway. How beautiful that is. These were so much fun. They're so memorizable. I was able to keep up pretty good with the pattern. Um, these are shorty socks. I think I only did like 16 rows for the leg. Excuse me, a shadow wrap heel and then foot and rounded toe. Um, 64 stitches, 2.25 millimeter needles. Yep, they are done. They're for my coworker, Tina, and I'm going to gift them to her. Her birthday was on this past Monday. I'm gonna give them to her on Tuesday when I see her because we are off Monday for Juneteenth. So this is a four day week, or three and a half day weekend. So that's really nice. Okay. My next finished object is my June Desert Vista Dye Works. Let me get them on the sock blockers. Oh man, I'm struggling today. <laughs> These things don't want to go on for some reason. <laughs> Let me get these out. I should probably get another set of these so that way I could have you know, I shouldn't have more than two each time I record, but you never know. Okay, here they are. Look at these. Aren't they beautiful? Okay, so this is Desert Vista Dye Works Stripes at the Splash Pad. Um, Self-striping. It came with a um, speckled mini. I did... The Rhinebeck Roomies pattern. I think I did 10 repeats on the leg and then 17 repeats for the foot. These fit my feet, which are like a size 9.5-10 ish. Rounded toe, 64 stitches, 2.25 millimeter, and shadow wrap heel. I love how that fits on me. And it's so memorizable and it's really easy, and you don't have to worry about gusset stitches, so sometimes I like that change up. And I did a little pop. 
of the stripe um, speckled. I do have some more of this yarn left over, so I'm hoping I can make another shorty pair, like a super shorty pair, for maybe my friend Elizabeth that lives in Buffalo, New York. She was just talking to me, and we were talking about getting her some more socks because she loves them. Okay, that those are finished. Okay, I forgot to show you guys <laughs> my May socks. I had them as a work in progress and I completely forgot um, because I was trying to, I cleaned up this stuff up here and I was trying to put them away and I re realized I never showed them to you. So I'm going to show them to you today. So these are my May, Oop. my May Desert Vista Dye Works. And this is the Slipping Sideways by Lolo Did It. And I did a 2.25, and this is a um, one by one rib cuff. Um, I did a slip stitch heel flap, and I think this is called a Dutch heel turn and rounded toe. These were pretty cool. Um, they worked up pretty quickly. I think I podcasted and then I had a later podcast and I never showed so I thought I would just show them to you guys so you could see them. So those are all the finished objects that I have. Okay, next are my works in progress. So the first work in progress that I have is my, actually it's a half finished object. I'm searching for the tag. This is Arcane Fiberworks, the Why So Serious colorway. And, ooh, sock blocker. <laughs> Crack myself up sometimes. I'm like, oh, I can put it on there. You guys will see the pattern really good on here. Look at this. This is absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at that. So this is the Shadow Box Socks by um, Curious Handmade Helen Stewart. I did a, this is a one by one twisted rib. And then Shadow Box Socks. Regular heel flap and gusset. I use US1 2.25. This is Twin Mountain Handcrafts, and this one is Trumped and Dangerous. These are just marking two spots for me, so I knew from my own knowledge of what I needed. So I have one sock done. I have the second one in progress. I'm hoping I can finish it this weekend. That's my goal. So, here we are. I have just a couple more gusset decreases. I believe I have one. Yes, one. One more gusset decrease. And then I'll be flying down the foot. So here's what I have left over so far. So far, so good. This is Arcane Fiberworks and Why So Serious. And his base is so soft and it's 80-20 and it's the 19.5 microns. So it's really, really, really nice. And I love I love how it worked up not non-pattern. I love how it worked up in the heel, how it kind of micro-striped right there. Absolutely beautiful. These, oh, I didn't even talk about the bag. So these are being held in my owl bag. A stitching plaza, a little owl bag. <laughs> so, finished object, or, sorry, work in progress number one. Work in progress number two is in a bag I got from the front, Yarn on Front in my hometown. And this one, these might not have a lot of prog, I don't think I did a lot of progress, maybe a few rows. This is Knit Picks Felici in Vegas Baby. I might have, I'm not sure if I did any progress since the last time. Maybe a row or two, but um, these are going to get some love. Oh my gosh, these are super tangled. 
they're going to get some love. Um, I'm taking them with me on my on my trip to Michigan, and I will be working on these on the plane for sure. So these are some vanilla knitting, and that'll be fantastic. So that was my second work in progress. My third work in progress is being housed in this Daisy Girl and Company bag. I've been utilizing a lot of my yarn cozies. They've been coming in handy. Maybe 12 will be enough for me if I have multiple projects going. I need to make some 50 gram ones for my Felici socks, that's for sure. So I worked on this a little bit when I was on the treadmill walking because it this is a really easy to to go, but yeah, it looks like I'm not quite halfway. Maybe a quarter to halfway. And here's the yarn. And the yarn is Sundial Designs and it's on a colorway, it just says simply sock. 75 to 25. This is super soft yarn. I am knitting these on, let's see, 2.5, and I forget what my gauge is, I don't remember, off, off the top of my head, and I have a little progress keeper right here, it's got a cute little coffee bean from Twin Mountain Handcrafts. So this I'm also going to take with me to Michigan. This is going to be some good vanilla knitting on the go. If I'm not working on socks. This is a long-term project. Um, it's a hat for my husband. And so whenever I get time, I pick it up. Sometimes when I'm, like I said, up on the treadmill and I'm walking, I'll just pick it up and start working on it because it's a little bit easier than a sock. The needles are a little bit bigger, and I can just go round and round and round. I don't have to worry about magic loop or 9-inch being a little too small. I can just go round and round. All right, so, oh, and I'm wearing my Knitter for Life t-shirt. I got this from the Freckled Whimsy shop. Super awesome. You should go check out her shirt. She still has them on there. Okay, next work in progress. Excuse my reach. Everything's a little bit farther away than I want. is in a bag by Ginger Snap Fibers. It's a cute little succulent bag. This is my dishcloth slash yarn cozy bag. I have the, I I was working on the dishcloth of the month for the kitchen sink shop. And this one is called, hmm, I don't remember. I don't remember. If I remember, I can put the name down here of the pattern. But it's the June one. I'm using Sundial Designs again. And I think I got this at Tempe Yarn. Yep, Tempe Yarn and Fiber. And this is the Sparkle Splash, and it's 100% Pima Cotton, and it's in the colorway Lillian Fields. Yep. Beautiful cotton yarn. So I am not quite halfway yet. I'm just kind of working on it a little bit, giving my hands a little bit of a break. Um, I will be casting on a yarn cozy. I'm gonna be using this color. How pretty is that? So it was in this bag, so I just wanted to show you guys. All right. I believe that's all that I have as far as works in progress. So now let's talk acquisitions and slash future cast-ons. So the first acquisition that I got was this awesome bag from Ginger Snap Fibers. It's got some yarn in there. I just love this. She's so sweet. Um, and it has a little cute little yarn cozy. See, Ginger Snap Fibers. In here I have the June, and I don't think I showed these because they came in 
but like if the last time, came in right before I recorded the last time and I didn't want to spoil it for people. In case if you're a subscriber and you get Freckle Whimsy, I didn't want to spoil it if you hadn't gotten it. I mean, I know I'm all the way in Arizona and I usually get it around the same time that other people do, so, but I'm not entirely sure because I know we're close to a big, like, distribution center. A lot of mail com comes through Phoenix, so I usually get things pretty quick just because we're a large hub, facility hub for the West, before it goes to California, obviously, but. So this one's called Mermaid, hopefully you can see that, Mermaid Kisses. It's her Serendipity DK, 7525. Look at that. I kicked this up like, right after I got it because I was like, this is beautiful. And so this is going to be cast on as an on-the-go project while I'm on my trip. Because there's going to be a lot of car knitting, a lot of, you know, hanging out with friends and family. And I'll have time just to sit and just knit and just enjoy everybody. So that's the first one I have. The second one I'll be casting on is in a bag from Stolen Minutes. I think I got this last year, the year before. And this is Breaking Yarn in the Saul Goodman colorway. And it's 7525. Doesn't have a yarn cozy yet. Solve that problem. Put a yarn cozy in it. That way. It's a little bit tangled. I think this some of the outside just came out. So if I put a cozy, it'll stay all together. That's what's really good about these cozies is they just stay together and you don't have to like bam. It's amazing. So yeah, this one is ready to go. I'll probably cast those on um, to have with me as well. Alright, also, I forgot to mention, these are also from Ginger Snap Fibers. Look how cute these are. Oh my gosh, they are so tiny. But they are absolutely adorable. And these are basically little notion pouches. I can fit, like, a little, like, a little tin of stitch markers. I can fit the Susan Bates Handy Tool in here. I can fit some tapestry needles and some little snip scissors in here. And I can just throw these in multiple bags. So I bought, I bought these four so that way I could just toss them into a bag. And that works out perfectly. Okay, next up I got this, this cute bag from Three by the Sea. I was like, oh, so pretty. Look at this zipper pull. It's a little, it's a little flower. So pretty. Flower power. And it's got, that's the inside, three by the sea. It's beautiful. All right, next up, I was, I forget what podcast I was watching, and I heard about the Delightful Works. It might have been Rose Opal Knits. And so they were talking about Delightful Works and how they had these bucket project bags, and I was like, ooh, I want one. <laughs> I got one with owls. It came really fast, and look at the polka dots in the inside. Not that I need more project bags, but this is a cute bucket one. Super cute. Like, you can put a whole bunch of minis in here for a project. It's awesome. And it's got a handle. This one's sleeping. This one's winking at you. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, next up, I got, I got some needles. Nine inch circulars. I was needing these for my trip so that way I could have some smaller needles, easier on the go, um, like on the plane, so that way I'm not pulling magic loop and I can, and I have um, needle stoppers so that way I can literally stop in the middle of a, of a row if I have to, versus magic loop it's a little bit more tough. So I picked up some more and I got these from Arkansas Yarn Co. And she gave me she also sent little cute Arkansas stitch marker. How cute is that? Alright, moving on with acquisitions. 
This is the other Freckled Whimsy June. This one is called Social Butterfly. And it's a 75-25 on her serendipity base. And it's a six strike repeat. I love this so much, I may have to cast this one on too. Just fill up all the soft needles. Why not, right? It's not gonna hurt, it's not gonna hurt me. Projects sit up here, I don't really care. <laughs> They'll get done eventually. Okay. Last acquisition is from Cozy Cauldron Fiber Company. Oh, this is amazing. This is simply gorgeous. Look at this. This is called Night Court and it's on her 75 Extra Fine Superwash Merino and 25% Nylon. I think I saw her knitting a hat and I think I have to knit the Muscle Bar hat for this one. This is so gorgeous. Could you imagine me in a missile burra like this? Maybe. <laughs> it looks good. So yeah, this is going to definitely be hitting my needle soon. Um, some future cast-ons that I'm planning on doing. My husband wants another muscle burrow besides the one he has. So I kicked up some Felici. And this one is called Poseidon. 75.25. So those will be kicked up. Or those are kicked up and those will be cast on after I finish the other muscle burrow because I can't work on like four. <laughs> That's just crazy. And the next one I cast on or kicked up was this was Night Market and this is Night Market. Oops, let me actually hold this for you. 75.25. These are going to be socks. These are super pretty. These are going to be part of what I take for my trip as well. Because one can't have too many projects. Because I like to switch it up and work on multiple things. You know, I like to work on this and work on that and work on that. So, Alright, I think that's all but one feature cast done. So, I need you guys' help with the Stephen West make-along. So, I was going through my stash and I was looking for some pairings for his uh, make-alongs. I really didn't want to buy yarn because I have tons of yarn. If anybody follows me on Instagram, they'll know I have tons of yarn. <laughs> and I don't need to buy any. So, this is the first pairing I was thinking. This dark, dark blue with the pops of pink from Moonglow. Ignore the, um, the mini. I'm not going to use the mini. I'll use the mini for something else or leftovers. because so I don't think I'll need all of it. Both, all of both since this will be my contrast color, but I'm thinking, I like these two together. But this is number one. Uh, please comment below and tell me. Please help me. I would love input. The only thing is, is this is a different base. It's an 80% superwash merino, 10% cashmere, and 10% nylon. I don't think I mind mixing bases. I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. And this one's 75-25. So, um, we'll see. Let me know what you think. Have you mixed bases before? Okay, the next one I was thinking was, this is Mandy's Makings Razzle Dazzle Main Color Contrast. This is number two. Um, I like these because this is like a really stark contrast. And it's, it's not quite, the pinks or purples in here are not quite like the pinky purple color here, but maybe it'll work. All right, the next contrast that I have is this one is Mace of Skeins and it is Cherry Blossom. So that looks like that could go together pretty well too, minus the mini. Or this Yarn Nouveau, which is the color Sapphire with that, that looks like that would be pretty too. 
last I could do so I have Kimber's Cozy Creations and this is Singing in the Rain with the blue or I could do Kimber's Cozy Creations and this color because hers has a little bit of color here there's a bunch of different colors in this one and I thought maybe those maybe these two would go together pretty well last but certainly not least well I was like thinking of this color too and maybe with this that's pretty that's really pretty with minus the minis and this is moon glow in her love for Ukraine sock base or sock set that looks really pretty so does that um, maybe what do you think um the only other one that I really like is this one the one I picked up there that one or that one mm, maybe not maybe these two I don't know I'm having a hard choice <laughs> picking out what I'm gonna have but I'm going to participate in the Stephen West Mystery Knit Along. Oh, I forgot one more yarn, and I don't know where I put it. I'm going to do the Zebra Yarns um, 4th of July sock um, knit along, where you knit a pair of socks in four days. I have the yarn, but I don't remember where I put it. So um, I might put a picture right here, and I might show you guys the next time. I think that's all that I have for you guys today. I hope everybody is doing well. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed, who likes, and who comments. I love reading all of them. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!